Hey, I was uh, requested by my friends to make a YouTube video explaining this. This is how I set up my pen tablet to work as a MIDI controller, controlling three different CCs. Um, the first thing that I got was WMIDI, which is what makes this all possible. Just found it online. Um, and second off, I you need something like this, uh, a loop back for MIDI. Uh, I'm using Tobias Erickson's Loop MIDI. Uh, so I created a port on here, Loop MIDI port, and then I output that Loop MIDI port in W MIDI. So then I can set up in my DAW that as an input right here, Loop MIDI port. Um, I turned off note generation and instead set the X position to CC16, Y position to 17, and pressure to 18. And in Ableton, you can see that I have a rack set up with CC16, 17, and 18. Uh, set up in there. So as I have this, this has to be at the forefront in order to use it, and as I play with this you can see the CC's over there on the instrument moving around depending on what I do. Um, so you can easily map that to anything. So for instance if I were to set up something like this, throw in a sampler, throw in uh, this sine wave, root key is C0, C0, oh, keyboard isn't working, uh, B0, C0, set it to loop, and I just know that this sound file loops well at 60 uh, with a loop start, so I can set the volume to the pressure, which is CC18, I can set the uh, the pitch. This is kind of a workaround that I have to have a constant pitch control rather than doing a rather than doing it based off of um, semitones, which it, it'll click in between semitones. So if I set the sustain of of a pitch envelope amount, that's that's a hundred percent amount either way of twenty four semitones. So I can map that sustain to the y axis, and I can throw in a little LFO for a. Uh, let's say 5 hertz, set a little LFO for the x-axis just because it's a lot harder on a uh, tablet to 15 to make an actual vibrato. So with just doing that, if I hit a note on my keyboard, I can control it with my tablet. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Um, I was doing some more crazy stuff with it. Uh, again, you can map these CCs to anything that's mappable in whatever your software is. Um, I was playing ar around with a lot of really screwed up stuff, like uh, this bass that I had set up before that I kind of modeled after an Eamon Tobin bass. So if I were to map a filter to the pressure, map pitch in the same way, pitch envelope, decay, sustain, amount, 24 semitones, map the sustain to a macro over here, and then put that on the y-axis, no, I'll put that on the x-axis, um, and then the y-axis can control the uh, this is the uh, the grain size of this is a kind of a pseudo granular synth that I made. Uh, then you can have something a lot crazier. And again, you can map whatever you want in here. Um, so you know, just fool around. Uh, I have a little bit of sine uh, shaper on here, so if I throw that, group that in here, zero, sure. Uh, maybe have the x-axis deal with the uh, phaser amount, sure. Map mode. Phaser amount right there. Then you can have something even more gross. Uh. 
So anyway, again, W MIDI running through loop MIDI from Tobias Erickson. Use it as an input and just route in here through MIDI. CC16 going to this one, CC17, CC18, and just map them out how you like it.